creative friends. My name is Joey Balistrieri. Welcome to my channel and welcome to my work table. Oh my gosh, I got my order from Jesse James Beads from their new collection. And as you can see, it is just a work table full of happiness. I am so excited. These beads actually kept me awake last night. And so I decided to kind of show you what I got and then I'll take a pause and come back because I have at least four projects right here on my work table. I love this collection so much. I um, They sent me a few things to do a video just to share with all of you but I loved what I got so much that on my own I went back on the website and ordered some more so I can tell you I am just so thrilled so I got this bead strand <laughs> called every day is a pool day isn't it adorable it has this beautiful mix of turquoise green peach pink ceramic beads and then I'm just dying over this little flamingo I am a flamingo lover I have lived in Florida most of my life and I wish you all could see my patio because my patio has a flamingo theme and it's all like colors like this and pink and orange. But this collection is um, kind of like inspired by Miami Beach in the 1950s. So it's retro, um, but it's a little bit boho. It's, um, it is amazing. It is so happy and so much fun. So like I said, I have so many projects going with it. Um, so I got this little button. Isn't that gorgeous? It's a little shank button. So that's gonna be for a bracelet. And then I got these milkweed boho beads. Aren't they stunning? Oh my gosh, they make me so happy. And then, um, I got these gorgeous little spoonbill beads and I just love this shade of pink. It's so gorgeous and look how cute it is with the little flamingo on the bead strand. And then I just picked up some little flamingo charms. Uh, who doesn't love that? They're that beautiful little little peachy pink or that, yeah, kind of an orangey pink and they're gold. And then I got some little crabs in this kind of turquoise blue. It's kind of the color of the Sleeping Beauty turquoise. And I just love those. And I am crazy about any kind of a cylinder bead or oblong bead. So this little gemstone bead is available in quite a few colors. But of course, I got this nice rich pink and then there's these cool connectors that are made out of like a pink rattan again it's the color and the material is giving a very retro vibe you know like I, I just am so excited about this collection and then look at the mystera leaves aren't they adorable they're so glossy and shiny and such a statement but they're very lightweight and don't you just love when you have all these little holes for connecting you can really be creative with that and then these are just so fun and again I'm a Florida girl um, so and even my family in Italy are from the southernmost part of Italy so like citrus like the Amalfi Coast lemons and oranges and that kind of thing from from any continent it just screams my name <laughs> so I love these little orange slices they already have the little loop to dangle them or connect them I am just crazy for those and so I got my order in yesterday and I've been traveling around Anna Maria Island and Sarasota and Longboat Key with a friend and I was a little bit tired so I went to lay down and I said oh I'll play with my beads tomorrow but these beads did keep me awake last night so I just wanted to share oh I forgot this strand aren't these gorgeous and you get such a nice long strand um, so these this is my little collection and there is so much more in this um, in this collection on the website there is another really beautiful bead strand that is called Miami Beach um, I love that one as well I mean I love all of it to be honest it's just so happy and bright and so perfect for these summer months but I'm in a tropical place so for me we kind of live in this kind of jewelry and these kind of accessories all the time so I am super excited to start making I don't know how many projects I will put in in a single video but I'm gonna clean up my mat and come back with the first project and then when I edit I'll look at the length and everything but I just wanted to kind of show you these goodies before I cut all the strands open <laughs> so and you know I didn't even feel like 
I needed to put flowers or any decoration on my work table for your viewing pleasure because the beads do it all today. <laughs> so I'm going to pause here. I'll just be a second for you. My first right project back. is so super cute. I finished the sample. I'm going to do a second one with you, but I'm going to do it a little bit differently. Um, these are so cool and I'm thrilled to be making this because this was really inspired by two of my friends. My friend that I just did the little trip with to Anna Maria Island actually gave me this idea, but my other friend, Dale Walker, who you see in all the comments, uh, she's so supportive and she's just like such a wonderful friend. Uh, she loves purse charms and she changes her purse charms by the season and that's one of her favorite things to make. And so I was thinking the kids are going back to school and I was thinking um, how nice this would be as a purse charm or a backpack charm or even just, you know, to clip onto like a crossbody bag and have your lip, lip gloss. <laughs> so I have punched a little hole in just a little tube of lip gloss and if you can find this kind of a tube even for hand sanitizer or hand lotion or you know anything that you can get a hole through you can make a gorgeous little little hanging charm so I just had these little oversized lobster clasps in my stash they're very easy to find and a little scrap of chain on this one and I did pull in a supplement bead mix um, this is going to be for the next one but this is let me show you the maybe some of you remember this it's been around since last summer or the summer before it's called flamingo beach i don't know if this is still available on the website but i kind of went shopping in there to supplement all of the things from sunshine usa some supplement with those things so anyway i am just loving this and i have a little friend that i nanny for um she's seven years old and she will stay with me for a couple of weeks before she goes back to school and i think this is going to be her little gift for her backpack so let's do another one together i have another little tube i just bought like on clearance a little six pack of lip glosses and I'm going to use my leather hole punch but I think that even if you have a tiny office hole punch or even a pin or a beading all might work but I did it with this because I have this and the only thing is to be super careful that you stay on this sealed part and that you don't puncture the tube so that whatever your contents is doesn't come squirting out and so before I punch, let me just show you, I did this one off to the side. Um, you know, my jump ring fit through there fine. And I just kind of wanted this one to be sideways. But I think on this one, I'm going to do my mystera leaf right in the middle. And I've been playing with some other components for this one. So this is what I'm thinking is that I'm going to stack it this way sorry I just realized I wasn't in view so I think this one I'm gonna do a little bit different so let's play let's see how it turns out so I'm gonna come about in the middle and let me turn it this way so I can see and you can see and right about there and just punch my hole and I have a little bit of plastic same as happened on the other one might even really it's a good hole but you can if you have this kind of a hole punch you can go front to back back to front and make your little hole and then I have some large jump rings here so I'm gonna start by attaching my mystera monstera leaf And then let me see if I want to do I think I will do it that way I'm going to leave that jump ring open and so I also wanted to share if you are working with these uh, here's my other one so I don't know if you can see there these are really fun because it's woven so any one of those loops can be a connection point but some of them are a bit more open for getting a jump ring so if you have a little beading all that works great if that's the spot that you need your jump ring you can just put your beading all and 
make your hole big enough to get your jump ring through and then you know you can move this a little bit with like a beading awl so that's what I did on the one that I'm going to be working with so that I could get my wire through and this is just a stack of beads and you know what I had a couple of things left over from the magical mystery bead box last month and this um, was one of them the a sea turtle reef bead mix and these I didn't use them in all my making and so I'm making use of them in today's project so um, I have to say years ago I gathered up all my Jesse James beads bead mixes and bead strands and things and put it in a separate organizer in my bead organization because their beads are so unique and I realized early on when I found the company that you know it was nice to keep their their designs together so I've kind of gone into my bin of Jesse James beads to supplement <laughs> the things that I got from the company <laughs> yesterday um, so anyway I have just like thread this little stack of beads on this wire I'm mixing gold and silver because in this collection gold and silver is mixed and I'm just going to creatively just get this wire around to the front and make a little wire wrapped loop I'm all I'm my whole plan is just to secure this inside this little ring it kind of looks like a pool floaty to me <laughs> so that's all I'm going to do is just kind of like do almost like a wire wrap but it's a little bit creative because I'm working inside a ring but that's okay as long as it's not going to go anywhere just wrap and I'm gonna trim off in the back. I think I'll leave it until I get this bottom one done. Same thing, just get that little wire. I'm using 20 gauge wire. It's kind of my favorite wire. It I can do everything I need to do with it, but it's pretty easy on my hands. So I'm just gonna like get a loop in there. that's pretty secure and let me just trim this little piece it's not sharp but I can see it so let me just get in there and just like when we make earrings or any kind of a wire wrap just tuck the cut end okay so my little my little um, bead embellishment is secure and now I'm gonna see if my jump ring will fit right through the hole that I made. It looks like it will. Yep, looks like it will. Just turn my pliers, get my other pliers in here to help me. Make sure it's closed really well. Oh, how cute is that? I love it okay and then I was just playing as I said pulled in some things to supplement and I was just playing because I was thinking to do another stack of beads and as you can see I've continued mixing the gold and the silver and on this I think I can just do simple loops so I'm just going to grab my one step looper and put some simple loops in there this wire is a little wonky it was left over from something else but I'm not going to waste it I'm gonna use it <laughs> let me just tidy that up and let me thread my little stack all of my projects with my Jesse James beads order was really just fun like stacking the beads until I just loved the stack <laughs> they're so gorgeous it's really really hard to go wrong so unique and whimsical
This one is cool. It moves. <laughs> okay, and now just the final connection. This is so fun. And I think I'm going to use gold jump rings. I actually made these out of the same 20 gauge wire. Oh my goodness, this is such a fun project. Now I feel like I need to go shopping for some little travel hand lotions and some other little tubes that I can do this with because it's so cute and it's so fun. And it's any skill level could do this. This is just simple stacking beads and opening and closing jump rings. Honestly, this is so sweet. So I thank you to my two friends for the inspiration for this project. Look at that, you guys. Isn't it cute? I just love this idea. This can hang on a purse, on a suitcase, on a backpack. You know, even um, if you have like a little jewelry tree or something and you're always losing your lip gloss or your hand lotion, I just love these. I think they are adorable. So fun and so sweet. I'll put some better pictures up at the end because, but these are fun. I just love this idea. Thank you again to my friends. And then my next project is a super simple pair of earrings. I absolutely loved those beaded beads that were in the mix. And I pulled these beautiful patinaed gold bead caps from the Flamingo Beach bead mix. And I just added in some gold filled spacer beads that I had in my stash. And I'm using a solid brass ball head pin for these earrings. And those of you that know me that have been on my channel, you know why I do not have an ear wire on my earring. It's because I have gold filled lever back interchangeable ear wires. And I have like three pairs in my jewelry tray. And as I get in these gorgeous box boxes and supplies and make my earring drops I don't need an ear wire every single time so I'm just going to make these and this little loop slides right on I'll put a picture up at the end I don't even have a pair of earrings on my table I'm not wearing a pair today either but um, this is just again simple stacking I used one of my gold filled spacer beads here and then I just put this gorgeous bead just find that center right about there. On these, there's like four beads um, that are woven around the top so you know where to put your wire. And then I just thread it on one of those gorgeous bead caps. And another, this is a three millimeter gold filled spacer bead. And I just put that right on the top and then I did a simple wire wrapped loop. And it is just that easy. Now on the brass head pins, a wire wrapped loop is sometimes a little bit challenging, but um, I, I like the security of it for a piece like this. And I used the very tip of my pliers because I wanted a really small loop. I'm just going to lock that wire into place. These are two inch solid brass ball head pins and um, I found that on this pair of earrings I didn't even need to trim that I just wrap all the way down to the beads and tuck the very end of this head pin. Like I said the brass is a little bit stiffer than a regular head pin but I have my beautiful drops and they are ready for my ear wires. I love these. I think these are so fun, a little bit retro, not heavy at all, but they do make a statement and a statement jewelry, you know, a piece of jewelry that makes a statement is another big 2024 trend. We're right now kind of moving away from all the tiny petite jewelry. So I love those. I think they are so sweet. And then my next project is going to be a really cool bookmarker and I have gone into my stash and pulled out some seed beads 
and I just had to use this little flamingo guy. I love him. I think he's adorable. So I have already wire wrapped a component just the same way that I just did my earrings. And then I did another one with just simple loops, also using my one step looper. And also from that flamingo beach bead mix, I had a lighter flamingo left over from, you know, from that bead mix. So I am going to use a small piece of this turquoise color soft flex beading wire this is my favorite beading wire it's 49 strand it's a medium like all-purpose beading wire and i just love it i love it with the magical crimps um, and I'll, i've had a lot of questions about the magical crimping plier lately you can definitely use a regular crimping plier for this um, but I really love the magical crimper because it makes it makes your crimp look just like a part of the design like a little you know tiny little gold bead or silver bead or whatever you're using uh, let me find the plier because I'm gonna start out on one end and I love my I love my soft flex crimps for this too. They are gold filled and that is the secret to this plier is having a really good quality crimps. If you use junky ones, you're going to struggle for sure. Whoops, there it is. Need one for each end. And I am going to first dump out, I'm going to make a little seed bead mix here. These are just seed beads from my stash and the colors are just beautiful with the colors of this collection of beads. I actually just got these on clearance. I just thought this was such a pretty summer color. And I'm not sure if I'm going to do, haven't really decided yet if I'm going to do a just my own little bead mix and let it be random. Not sure. I'm going to put all the colors out here turquoise green and pink so pretty so so pretty and I want to bead my loop so um, let's see let me do a green loop on the soft flex wire you don't have to do that you can just let the wire be the loop and it is such a pretty color but I just decided that I was going to be the loop today okay and now I'm just going to bring get one of my crimp tubes on this end and bring it down here and feed that other little wire through the crimp tube and then I can string more seed beads and this part of this book marker is going to be what lays inside the book I've made these before I have a video where I have done these before they are so cute and you only just need a little big enough loop for a jump ring to go through to add the charms and like i said you don't have to do a seed bead loop because the soft flex wire it is part of the design it's so beautiful all the colors that it comes in but i just decided to do this today just for something different i usually just leave the soft flex whatever color i've chosen uh, but today i decided to do beads and then all you do is put your crimp tube in the very center of that well in the magical crimping plier and close it and when you look you have pinched all four corners of the tube and then you just come in sideways and just make sure you feel that it's in the center before you close your tool like i've done a lot of these and i can feel that it's not in the center okay now it is can you see and I'm also making sure that I don't have my seed beads pinched inside and I'm just going to close it and then just go around whoops make sure it stays in the middle of that well and just go around and around until you just don't feel like it's doing anything anymore
and when you take it away you have this perfect little bead and so now I can just string my pattern and I will like do that off camera and get my length of my book marker and I also have to decide if I want to do just a mixed just make my own little bead mix and let these be mixed so it won't fit so that's okay if I can I try to feed my wire down through a few beads but sometimes it's not possible so just come in and trim that away as close as I can get Okay, my stringing is done. It just took a few minutes and I did decide just to do a random pattern. And what I did is I got the book that I'm reading now and I just used that as a measurement. So like if you're always reading paperback books, you know, maybe use that as a measurement. I just thought I would show you. I make my bookmarks in so many different ways. I use chain. I love these long dramatic ones. I use um, satin cord like this one has a coffee and tea theme. And I made this right before I left for my trip because I knew I was going to be doing a little decorating project for my friend making a coffee bar in her beach house so um, I, it was just a little thing I did <laughs> and anyway I am at the end of my stringing and this one is also going to be long busy and dramatic because I just love them that way but you can adjust this uh, if you like this project but this is way too much hanging out of your book you can definitely do like smaller components and you know scale down your components but I just love having book jewelry I have a whole jewelry box just for my bookmarkers that I've made so this one is so joyful especially with this little guy I am so crazy for him so now to finish I am going to string my string my uh, number two crimp tube and then I'm going to take out a few more of these green seed beads and just repeat the same thing on this end that I did on the other end. Okay and now just do that same thing just loop it back through the crimp tube. We already checked it doesn't go back through the seed beads so just Pull it through and trim it off. And this isn't like making a bracelet or a necklace. You don't really have to worry about your tension. I mean, you don't want it super rigid, but this part lays inside the book, which is why I use the 11-0 seed beads. Really small and just like all the colors that are in my components. And I'm just going to repeat that same thing. Just get my magical crimper on the tube and centered. And then I just go slowly. I There's a little learning curve with this tool for sure. Um, but see, like I can just, I feel now that it's in the center and I wouldn't close the tool until I can feel that it's right in the center. And I can also see that I'm not chomping down on any of my seed beads. And so I've pinched all four corners and just go to the side. And as soon as I feel, see, I can actually see that it's not in the center. You'll start, if you do, if you get this and you use this tool, you will start to feel when you have it just right. There is a little bit of a learning curve, but you can totally do a fold over crimp here, uh, maybe even just a flat crimp would work for this because it doesn't this doesn't get a lot of pressure on it I just love the way this looks and I always like to remind people if they're new to this tool that if this is a really 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 tiny little bead that it makes and if that bead is just too small for you or if you end up with some unwanted space you can go ahead and put a crimp cover right on top of that but the soft flex crimp tubes are gold filled and they are just really great I have a new pair of cutters coming because I chomped down on a ring that I did not realize was stainless steel and I have damaged my cutters so 
I have already ordered a new pair. So my little bookmark is done and now I can just do the embellishment. And I did wanna show you guys one thing. Let me put the this little, this little scoop of seed beads away. I am a person that I have to have a clean work surface or my brain doesn't work. <laughs> so I wanted to show you this component. Um, these little satin glass pearls are just so lovely, but I did feel like they needed a little bit of a bead cap and I basically used up all the bead caps that were in you know my order and so this is a little trick with your wire that instead of just doing the three wraps you actually wrap your wire into a bead cap if that makes sense and so i i saved this component and i have that um, pearl right at the top and i'll show you what i did um, you can make use of your nylon jaw pliers so that you don't scratch your pearl to kind of like coax the wires into a bead cap shape um, and it just looks like a little like a little bead cap on top of the pearl so let's do this one together that's my little my little pattern that I've come up with but I'm going to wire wrap this uh, am I going to wire wrap this yes I'm going to wire wrap this so let me just slide this off I think I'm going to get a little bit larger piece of wire because I want to have extra to do the the bead cap wrap. <laughs> I don't know if that's what you call it, but I'm going to call it the bead cap wrap. <laughs> and it sounds good. <laughs> okay. And I love the Softflex company's craft wire for this it's anti-tarnish um, i i just love their their products the bead stringing material the wire the crimp tubes are amazing just a really really great 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 supplies for jewelry makers so i'm just going to come in here and on the one end where i have my my green crystal is going to be at the bottom of this i can just do a regular just a regular 90 degree bend and a medium sized loop, kind of my regular loop. And I'm just gonna do a few wraps. And so like I I'm so fussy about my wraps if I didn't get them tight next to each other I'll put my plier in and just pull those coils I like but you could do a messy wrap on you know on book markers and things like this you can definitely do a messy wrap if you like that look I tend to make things really neat I'm gonna tuck this in. I may have to come back you don't have any leverage until you get some beads on there but <laughs> Okay, and now I'm just going to stack these beads just the way that I had arranged them. Okay, and here's the little the little satin pearl go this way and I always just feel like because you can see these are nice pearls but you can kind of see the finish around the hole so I always kind of feel like I need a bead cap or you know something pretty there so the way you start that is just a normal 90 degree bend and you're going to start it exactly as if it were a normal wire wrapped loop. And here when you start your wrapping, that's where it's slightly different. At first you're just going to wrap right down to the pearl. I want my wraps to be nice and neat. And then where we would normally cut off I am going to keep wrapping, but if you can see, I'm going to place that wire around itself. So when I come around again, 
I'm going to lay it on the pearl and right up next to the wrap that I last did. And you know, you can, that's why I gave myself extra wire. You can decide when you want to cut it off. And so I think I'm going to make that the front, although on a bookmarker, it doesn't really matter because you know, it, it turns around, it dangles from the book, but you get like this really pretty, almost like, um, it looks like a little, like a little bead cap for lack of a better word. So yeah, it's the bead cap wrap. <laughs> I like that <laughs> and so you get like if you're out of bead caps or if you just need a little finish on the top of a bead to kind of hide the drill hole if you don't like the way it looks that is a great great solution for that and now this is just like simple connecting um, I have to just play and decide how I want to hang things he's gonna be these are gonna be my final two drops looks like this guy does not have a hole. Can you see that? It looks like he missed his, oh, he does have a hole, but it's just not all the way through. The second time today I use this beading all. Okay, that's better. Okay, so I just have to decide my, I really wanted this guy to be on this side because it looks really good with him. And this, let's see. How do I want it? This up here or down here? Down there. Okay, so I need one, two, three, four, five jump rings. One, two. I like to connect everything by jump rings just because it, it dangles so nicely. And this is like a simple, stringing and connecting project and so cute and these make great gifts again if you have children grandchildren nieces nephews if they are going back to school to meet their teachers fun bookmarkers are such a lovely gift and they're just so unique and individual and with our first project of a lip gloss or a hand lotion that's beaded and has a lobster claw, an oversized lobster claw clasp. What a sweet little gift. Look at that. So it's just simple connecting. But I love these. These make me so happy. I guess because I love beads. So then when I'm not working and I'm reading a book or I even have these in my word search books to see which page I left off on, I'll have to use bookmarkers for that. And those make nice gifts too. If you have a person that is not a reader, you know, a puzzle book or an adult coloring book and a beautiful handmade bookmarker is just wonderful. And so, like I said, this is just simple connecting. I kind of played with all the beads that I received in my order, but you can modify this. If this is like way too much going on to hang it out of your book, you can just do one simple component or just bead your um, you know, just bead your bookmarker and then just add a charm, just one little charm at the bottom, you know, like whatever, whatever you like. For me, because I love beads so much, I just think this is so sweet. Look at this. How beautiful is that? Okay, last two connections. This is so gorgeous. I absolutely love this. I can't give this as a gift because I love it too much. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is the cutest bookmarker. I actually have my little pocket book of positivity and I'm going to um, I'm going to try this out. Let's see. I want this guy to be hanging out of the back. And that's the cool thing about this style of bookmarker too is that it doesn't matter which end is hanging out of the book and I know the camera is a little bit is a little bit close so I'll put some pictures up at the end but this is so fun and you guys I have a whole playlist for 
gifts and, and bookmarkers because it's one of my favorite things to make. And I, as I said, I've made, I make them out of metal, I make them out of satin cord, I make them out of chain, uh, beaded ones like this. I do them in a lot of different ways. So go to my main, my homepage on my channel and under playlists uh, where you'll see um, gifts, bookmarkers, home decor, it's a playlist. If you wanna get some other ideas for bookmarkers or just you're curious how I do them, there is a whole playlist there. So I'm going to set that aside with my earrings. And the last project that I'm gonna do for today, it is not my last project with this box because I really want to make a bracelet using this button. I just love it, but I need to think about it a little bit. I need some to design. So what I've pulled out here is some seed beads. I was kind of playing around with the drops that I want. This is going to be a bracelet. I'm going to use the these two, um, these two boho beads and I'm going to use this little flamingo charm. Let me set this aside. I had a couple of bead caps still from that flamingo beach and two more of my gold filled spacers and then I just love this kind of oversized rice pink glass bead. I love it. And this is going to be a memory wire bracelet. And so I am want to I want to make this so that these two focal beads are offset and sit on the top of my wrist. So I'm going to start out with my snub nose pliers. So I'm just going to get my small side of my snub nose plier and I just feel to make sure that it's inside the the two mandrels so that I don't have anything sharp and get my first little turn in there and then just turn until I see that I have three loops. You can do two, you can even just do one. I've gotten in the habit of doing three and I just like the way it looks. So now I can start stringing and so my plan is to put one of these gold filled spacer beads and then one of these gold patina bead caps and then it doesn't matter which one because these are going to be my two focal beads and so one is going to end like that and then I'm going to do the same thing have it end up um, let me get my finger out of the way have it end up over here so that these two beads are the focal and right at the top of the bracelet. Um, they, it, it's very lightweight for being such a statement. I really love that. And so then what I need to do next is uh, just kind of play with the pattern a little bit. So I loved adding in this like little bit of a blue green. I also have some gold seed beads here that I might put in between. But I also have some, this is just a little Amazon find. These are little three millimeter gold filled spacer beads. I'll put a few of those out here too because I did wanna add a little bit of gold and a little bit of weight to the back side of my bracelet. So let's see, let me start off with one of these. And one of these. And I just put a few of this little oversized rice bead. I love this little, I love the color. And what I think is so sweet about this design is all the different pinks are gonna collide on this, on this bracelet. I just think it's gorgeous. Let's see. I'm gonna intersperse a little bit of the gold. Maybe every fifth bead or something let me see so I will just you know just string my pattern like this and until I get to where I have an inch left because I know that three turns of my snub nose plier takes an inch of wire and um, the nice thing about this too is if my pattern 
ends up where I like it. I can always remove a little, snip a little bit off of this end before I turn that final loop because I do want these two beads to end up like offset from each other. So I will just string and I will be right back with you when I've worked out my pattern. I think it is perfect. So I was going to do this bead exactly the way that I did this bead, but the little three millimeter gold spacer bead just went right inside this larger bead and I had one bead cap left. So I think I'm going to use both bead caps on this and I am at the end of my pattern every fourth bead got a little gold spacer and then I know that I need an inch here and I'm just like slightly over an inch and I think I'm not even going to cut because I think when I start making my coils I think it's going to be just fine so I'm going to do that same thing just get my get my turn started and just wrap right down to okay. my beads that is so pretty i love it so you guys i have a ton of seed beads in my stash because i've been making jewelry for a very long time but jesse james beads has a whole section of their website for seed beads if you need seed beads but i just pulled all the seed beads that i've added in from my stash but look at this gorgeous bracelet and now i just have to add my charms so on one side i'm going to have this little flamingo and let me clean up my mess so we can make the dangly bits as one of our sweet <laughs> members of our community she left me a message and said i love your floofies <laughs> and i think it's so cute and it's such a happy word and so perfect for this collection of beads these colors this theme the sunshine you know the um, tropical vibe and the vintage vibe i just love it okay so i am going to take a couple of my little jump rings that i made these are five millimeter out of the same 20 gauge wire that i've done all my wraps and everything with so on this little component i've decided that i want to make a spiral a spiral head pin and a really small one because it's going to be hanging from my bracelet so i don't want it to get in the way and then if i can gently close it and i'm just going to get a few little turns in here just a few don't want it to be very big That should be perfect. And then I'm just going to grab a hold of this wire and bend it straight up. And so I just made my own little spiral head pin. And I'm going to put this little guy on this little teardrop, this little wavy spacer, and these little salmon pink. check glass beads I love the color of those little salmon pink I used them in a bracelet earlier this month let's see, get everything going in the direction I want it to and I'm going to do a wire wrapped loop just to hold this in place and I'll I'll organize my beads after I get the loop and it can be a really small loop because I am going to attach my charms with jump rings. What a sweet little component. And now they can just go on the ends. So I think I'm going to put this one, let's see, this one here and this one here. It doesn't really matter, but <laughs> that's what I'm doing. at this you guys this is the prettiest summer bracelet it's a little bit busy with my ring that I have on today but oh I love this 
What a sweet bracelet. It's got some little dangles and those focal beads. And this is so lightweight because these glass beads are not heavy and neither one of these focal beads are heavy at all. I absolutely love the way this turned out. What a fun bracelet for summer. Oh my goodness, I am so thrilled with the projects from this box. Let me pull them all in. Here are my earrings. Here's the um, my lever back earrings. So I just slide my drops on like that. I love doing this. Um, I can link my gold filled ear wires if you're interested in getting a pair for yourself. They're not super expensive and I love that I'm putting high quality ear wires in my ear, but I make a lot of earrings. I make a lot of jewelry. So this way I don't need an ear wire every time. And, and for me, I have to say a bracelet and earring set is really, I just love that. That's that is just, um, you can't see because this is such a focal, <laughs> um, but I just love a bracelet and earring set. Um, it's, you know, it's warm where I live and I, it's comfortable to wear and I feel polished and, you know, I feel dressed and coordinated, but I don't have anything hot and heavy around my neck. So I love that little set. And then this beautiful bookmarker is so gorgeous. I just love the bookmarker. I didn't realize I've made so much, it doesn't want to fit on the mat. And then here is our little backpack slash purse charm, travel charm. And here's the other one. Oh my goodness, this was such a fun project day. I had such a great time with the supplies from this box I just I'm not a box I had such a great time with this collection and I thank you to Jesse James beads I so appreciate them sending me some samples as I said I actually went back on my own and ordered a few more things because I love this collection so much and so I also have a discount code for my audience and I will put that in the description box below. I will link my tools and anything else I think you might be interested in for your convenience. So check out my description box. I work really hard on that and I hope everyone is safe and well and having fun on your beading mats. Ciao jewelry making friends.